Like, you know, we make fun of Democrats, but I got to make fun of this crap too, man. Look, man. Rip, Lauren Boebert's tattoo revealed as conservative woman post bikini pics on social media in response to criticism of Anna, uh, Rep, Anna Paulina Luna, who if you scroll down on her, <laughs> scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. Right? She went viral for posting this Make America Great Again and posting that on her, her, on her, um, whatever the fuck. I don't know when she posted it. But, bro, these are supposed to be conservative women that are politicians, by the way. Ooh. Right? Um, I know uh, Bobart represents Colorado. Can we check up L Luna, where she represents? Why would you even post that to your social I'll, media? I'll, 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 Anna Paulina, where does she? Oh, Florida, Florida. Okay. Um, bruh. Yeah, we got that down Yeah, yeah we do. That, we got that down here? Um, we got that in Florida? So, of course, of course. Look, man, and then, there was, and then it started another trend where they were saying, hey, I'm a Republican woman and I will not be posting a bikini photo. And they posted, like, wholesome photos themselves, which I think is way cooler and smarter. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah smarter. Bro, like... What, what are your thoughts? And then I'll go after you. I mean, that is somebody of importance in the world of politics. And that's what they're pushing to the audience. I'm just thinking to myself, like, this must be a joke. This is the OnlyFans, like, sale ad for this? Because this can't be real life. But then again, if that's a politician, we're doomed. Look, bro. Just saying, bro. Women already hard, have it hard enough entering the professional workforce by not being taken seriously. Right? They especially if a girl's attractive, they assume that she's stupid, she doesn't know what she's doing, she's incompetent, all the stereotypes, right? If you have members of our government that hold office that are in positions where laws are passed, doing stupid shit like this, all you're doing like these women don't understand, like women's suffrage, feminism, all this stuff, it fought to combat stereotypes like this. Yeah. Like, you're not helping. You're turning the clock backwards and making yourself look, not just making yourself look stupid, but you're making other females look stupid. And it makes it harder for them to be taken seriously. And then they wonder why guys like me come around and say, you're dumb because of shit like this. I might have come out did that. I mean, we'd be grossed out, but. But then again, you know what's crazy about this? Her doing this just goes to show that all sense of morale when it comes to actual awareness of how you dress is gone. And here's the thing. If I was a Democratic person, I'd be like, uh, a Democrat, I'd be like, Makes all right, whatever, they're idiots. But bro, these women are Republicans. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? It's a fucking bad look, man. It's a bad look for you. It's a bad look for the country. And then you also make it harder for the women out there that want to go ahead and get into government or want to get, in, get into um, politics or any of this other stuff. You make it harder for them to be taken seriously. Look, you guys know my views when it comes to politics and government, right? Uh, Mo shouldn't be in there, if I'm going to be all the way honest here. Is there a minority that could be? Yeah. Like, you look at someone like Candace Owens, I'd be totally down with having her in Congress, helping get laws passed, etc. But she never once, ever, Show has had to sexualize herself to get views and get supporters. Ever. She never did. And that's why I have an enormous amount of respect for her. Because that's the easy way out. She never had to do that shit. Yeah. She's one of the few that I have respect for that. Laura Loomer also doesn't sexualize herself. She, um... She uh, focuses on like making her political content. Always dresses mod modestly when she's out in public and stuff like that. With um, when she's covering politics, like, and you know me and her disagree on some things, but I respect her because she understands that like her mind is what matters when it comes to this stuff. And these women that are involved in politics, it's like, bro, like, you should be the most conservative of them all. And you guys represent a cons uh, uh, a conservative political party. What the fuck, man? I'm curious to know Trump's thoughts on this. If he even saw it, what he would say about it. He don't it. care. Mm. He won't care. I'm like, yeah, it's their right to do whatever they want. Like, he's not going to say none. Yeah. But it's a bad look, bro. It's a bad look. And the fact that the GOP doesn't call them out on this and say, what the fuck is wrong with you, stupid is like crazy to me. These women are Republicans. I think on both sides of the, can of the can or candle, we're doomed. So Fucking crazy, bro. And then, and then, then, and then regular women get mad and say, oh, why am I always getting objectified? Why am I always getting X, Y, Z? This is why. This is why so many men don't take it seriously. Because of shit like this. If you And these are women in positions of power, of positions of influence, that represent a political fucking party and pass laws. And they're doing stupid shit like this. The fuck do you think is going to happen for the rest of the regular females? It's already hard enough for them. They're going to follow suit? Always regress to their sexuality. Fucking man. And this looks, and then we haven't even talked about like um, how that looks, uh, like uh, objective from a um, from a visual standpoint. Look at other countries. What the fuck? 
This is their politicians? Could you imagine in China? They're laughing, bro. In Russia, they're laughing at us. They're like, oh, we got y'all now, boys. They're going down the tube. We got y'all now. They're looking at us like we're clowns. Yeah. I'm not, but, but the highest level, level of it is if Kamala wins, bro, it's just like a laughing stock of America. But then again, um, we know what's going to happen if she wins.